plan B document versus an access document. Now, access document is something you pay the money, you get a lot of access in theory on paper. This access is vulnerable, right? So some of the key recent examples that you've seen is Vanuatu lost its Shenzhen access. So let's say you paid for the Vanuatu passport, you thought you want to get some access. The moment they evaluated the option, they revoked the access and there goes your money in the dumps. Similarly with Grenada, it's the only Caribbean nation to offer that E2 feature. So a lot of people thought, let's do the donation, let's get other access along with the E2. But recently the E2 access was revoked and terminated. Now, if you haven't checked out that video on the revocation of E2 access, you can return and check this video. This talks about the entire episode in a lot more detail. But the long story short, Grenada as I covered is 150K. Let's say you decided to pay 50K for that E2 access and you thought you're gonna have a backdoor entry into the US. The next thing is that they terminated the E2 access and you lost that 50K if you thought you were paying for the E2 access. So these documents can lose access at any time. There could be changes on the fly and you could lose a lot of your money. You aren't gonna physically relocate to, move to and start living in these countries. So when you can't live in a country, when you can't survive in a country, when you're never gonna visit that country even once in your life, all you were interested in was a passport, then that is not a plan B security option in my opinion. Plan B security option is immune to that issue because you're not looking for access. Let's say you come from a Western country. Let's say you're from the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, or any other country which has a solid, strong travel document, and you're looking to add that plan B security to your portfolio. That is where you want a low key option, which is not in the spotlight because anyways, the passport is weak, but it provides you with that stable, diversified, location where you can actually start living you can get a great versatile diversity and let's say you are from australia you're parking your capital you're diversifying your portfolio in jordan you're getting a jordanian citizenship now you have australia on one side and jordan on the other side now this is classic diversity at its best not when you park your capital, let's say in a Caribbean country, which you are never going to visit and which has a big risk of losing the access. Then you're putting your money in the mud. You're wasting all your money. So that is just access. That is not plan B security. And therefore, when rating these options in 2023, people are looking for plan B security. People are not looking to renounce citizenships. That is the thing of the past. Now people want to keep what they have hang on to the best things that they have, but also add plan B securities. So if there is an issue, then they can exercise a plan B security and not just get some document which has theoretical access and no realistic chance of actually relocating to that country.